Well, the sun has been shining brightly all day. Good to see that continuing as we get ready for the match here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide and the centrepiece of the attack today is Joao Felix. Jacka Thomas Partey poor attempt at a pass really Felix and he takes it away Joao Felix Magnificent challenge to win it back. Excellent ball over the top. He's managed to get in behind. Can they stop it going in? Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Joao Felix. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. White. Thomas Partey. Going well. Xhaka. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. James. Joao Felix to take the lead. Vital intervention. But <laughs> well, he's gone short with it. Deciding to go inside. Well, tremendous block. Gabriel. Partey. Gabriel Martinelli. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Takes the shot. And the keeper had the measure of it. Short corner taken. Cuts in from the flank.
James, another successful intervention, putting the ball back, racing forward, trying to catch them out. Mateo Kovacic. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Erdogan. Chances on. Able to get his body in the way. Oh, he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. And he could give it away. Kai Havertz. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Saka. Could pull one back here. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And it's also going to be a booking. Well, he's absolutely right. It's a penalty and a yellow card. And this to reduce the deficit. And a timely penalty save. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Favouring the short one. He's got the score! And it goes to reduce the deficit! Still very much alive and kicking! Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. and Arsenal just one behind now. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, it's Chelsea in front, and Stuart, an opportune moment to get your take. Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. Joao Felix, it could be up for grabs, and thumped away. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. 
Martin Erdegaard. An awful lot of green space to run into. Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal unable to retain possession. Mateo Kovacic. Chilwell. Joao Felix. Now with Chilwell. Must score! Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. So half-time. That will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. Well, it's advantage Chelsea after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Jesus. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Must be! Well, there it is! Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Jesus. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest Joao Felix and back with Havertz now they stopped them in their tracks Alexander Zinchenko Wesley Fofana. Surely the save was a good one. Substitution for Arsenal. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. To be replaced by number 20, Jorginho. Who can they pick out? Well, spot on with that challenge. Now can they create something? Able to get his body in the way. Arsenal have it back. Gabriel Jesus. Now with Jorginho. And that's a straightforward stop. Kai Havertz. Thirty minutes left for play. Another classic example of how to intercept. Kukayo Saka. Possession changing hands. Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Options in the centre. Simple save, really. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Kovacic! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And I think the threat has been averted. Martinelli. Now Zinchenko. 
Not showing good vision. Really bright looking attack. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Can he do it to take the lead? And able to close down the shot. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Well, Chelsea being afforded too much space here. Joao Felix! Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Coming onto the pitch, number 19, Leandro Trossard. And he's fired over the corner. And the problem not completely solved. Sterling. Well, no stopping him. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Jack has lost the ball. And he has options available. But the danger averted for now. Well, the Arsenal fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He might profit from here, you know. Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper. And really should have been able to. Joao Felix. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. It has to be! Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Sterling finds that bit of space to finish so clinically. That's an excellent goal. here well these Arsenal fans still believe they can get back into this but they're gonna have to throw everything at it now time is running out well they've won possession back what can they do from here Sumptuous ball. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Couldn't keep the ball. Reese James. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Felix. Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for him. That's a bad miss. Jorginho, full time then the referee's whistle and it's a win for Chelsea, that's the big headline Stuart. Yes Derek, well it could have gone either way couldn't it, it's so competitive for much of the game but they kept pushing kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end, a great result Well Mateo Kovacic, brilliantly effective, no two ways about that Stuart Well he looked a top class player today, every time he touched the ball he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well what a good display that was.